This is Module 5, Lesson 38. In this lesson, we'll be finding the product of a whole number and a mixed number using distributive property. Let's look at the problem 5 times 8 and 1 fifth. So we have a whole number and then a mixed number. And remember, distributive proper me property means we're going to distribute the whole number over the units of the mixed number. So we start with 5 times 8, distributing 5 over the whole number, and then 5 times 1 fifth, distributing it over the fractional part. So to solve, we do 5 times 8, which is 40, and 5 times 1 fifth, which is 5 fifths, or 1. So our answer would be 41. <clears throat> Looking at another one, 4 times 9 and 3 fourths. We could start out by showing this with a tape diagram if that helps you do the solution. So we know we have 5 and 3 fourths, 9 and 3 fourths, 4 times. So we have 9 and 3 fourths, and we're going to show that we have four of these. So we know we can also, using associative property, change our grouping and group all of the ones together. grouping all the whole numbers, and then we'll group all the fractional parts. And then if we show this in a number sentence, we have 9 4 times, and we have 3 fourths 4 times. And again, if you can skip the step of drawing the tape diagram, you can go directly from this step to this step by distributing 4 over the whole number 9 and then 4 over the whole number 3 fourths. Then we solve these two. 4 times 9 is 36 plus 4 times 3 fourths would be 12 fourths, which simplifies to 3. And when we complete our addition, our sum would be 39. Now let's look at a word problem. Robin rides for three and one half miles round trip to get from home to school. How many would she ride in five days? Use the RWD process to solve this problem. So, we've read our problem. We know Robin's writing three and one half miles, and she's doing it five days a week. So we want to know how much she rides altogether. So we could show this in a tape diagram. So this is what she rides on one day, and then the second day. And then the third day, and the fourth day, and the fifth day. So we've done the draw part of our step. Now we're going to write an equation that represents this. So we've done three, five times. That represents our whole numbers. And then we've done one half five times and then we'll solve five times three is fifteen plus five times one half would be five halves which if we decompose would be two and one half <clears throat> so fifteen plus two and one half would be seventeen and one half 
<clears throat> and then we write our answer. Robin rides 17 and one half miles in five days. So remember for our WD process, we read, we draw, which we did with our tape diagram, and then we wrote an equation, and then we wrote the answer in a complete sentence. Let's try some problem set problems. For number one, it says fill in the unknown factors. So it's distributed over our whole number and our fraction. So take a minute to fill in the unknown factors and then solve the problem. Okay, so we would have seven times three and seven times four fifths. When we do the multiplication, we'd have 21 plus 28 fifths. And we would decompose 28 fifths into five and three fifths. Then when we add, we'd get 26 and 3 fifths. Try B. So for B, we have 3 times 12 and 3 times 7 eighths. When we multiply, 3 times 12 is 36. And 3 times 7 eighths would be 21 eighths. And we decompose into 2, which would use 16 of the 8s with 5 8s left. Then when we add together, we get 38 and 5 8s. All right, for number 2, you're going to do the same thing, but you're writing all of it yourself. So try A. So for A, we're going to do 7 times 8 for the whole number part, and 7 times 2 fifth for the fractional part. So then we get 56 plus 14 fifths. 14 fifths would decompose into 2 and 4 fifths. Then when we add together, we get 58 and 4 fifths. Try B. So for B, we get 4 times 9 plus 5, 6 times 9. When we multiply, we get 36 plus 45, 6. So this would give us 7 and 3, 6. which would, when we add together, would be 43 and 3 6, which would simplify to 43 and 1 half. Try C. So for 3, we're going to distribute the 3 over the 8, and then the 3 over the 11 twelfths. Then we multiply, we get 24, and we get 33 twelfths. 33 twelfths would be equal to 2 and remember we can check to see 12 times 2 is 24, 12 times 3 would be 36, so we have to say at 24. If you need to do a little subtraction problem on the side to help you figure this out. Obviously, that's the way to go instead of just guessing. So if I used 24 twelfths, then I'd have 9 twelfths left over. Then when I add, I would get 26 and 9 twelfths, which could reduce to 26 and 3 fourths. Try D. So for D, we have 5 times 20 plus 5 times 8 tenths. 
When we multiply, we get 100 plus 40 tenths. This would be 100 plus 4 would be 104. Try E. So for E, we'd have 25 times 4 plus 4 one hundredths times 4. So we get 100 plus 16 hundredths. So that would be 100 and 16 hundredths. All right, then we have a word problem. So use the RWD approach, read it, draw a picture to represent it, then write an equation to solve it, and then once you have the solution, write a sentence that answers the question. Okay, so starting with read. The distance around the park is two and five-tenths miles. Cecilia ran around the park three times. How far did she run? So we can show it in a tape diagram. She ran two and five-eighths at five-tenths miles three times. Then to solve that, we have two three times, and we have five tenths three times, which gives us six plus 15 tenths, and 15 tenths is equal to one and five tenths. So when we add it, we get seven and five tenths, which would also simplify to seven and a half. So to answer the question, she ran seven and one half miles. Okay, try number four. So reading, Windsor the dog ate four and three quarters snack bones each day for a week. How many bones did Inzer, Windsor eat that week? So to show it with a tape diagram, we have four and three-fourths. And since there's seven days in a week, we're gonna do this seven times. And as a number sentence, we did four seven times, and we did three four seven times. Then solving, four times seven is 28. Three times, three fourths times seven is 21 fourths. 21 fourths would be equal to five and one fourth. So when we add these, we have 28 plus 5 is 33 and 1 fourth. So to answer the question, Windsor ate 33 and 1 fourth bones in a week. And that ends lesson 38.